Hello everyone, today we will take a look at the new mini art kit German cargo truck L1500S uh, the catalog number uh, 38014 as you see it's a, a post-war German uh, delivery truck it's packed in a typical for mini art open top box with some information is there and with the pint callouts there as you see there are uh, many different finish options for this kit so uh, let's see what's inside the box first we have the instruction in booklet style with nice poster on the last page uh, there are also the large decal sheet with clear parts plastic spruce clear bottles really nice and some red and green bottles some crates with wood texture and the other plastic parts okay so first let's see the instruction the instruction is a typical for a mini art booklet <coughs> On the first page uh, we have some uh, informations about the kit and uh, all features. Highly detailed model using cutting edge molding techniques. Total parts count 688. Wow. Really big uh, amount of parts to be honest for the truck model. Uh, wooden barrels, milk cans, uh, beer bottles with crates, milk bottle with crates, decal sheet for 8 options. And next we have the first uh, paint callout. This is a milk truck, uh, German uh, 80s, 50s, sorry. And the paint callouts for the Vallejo, Mr. Color, Humbro, Testors and uh, Ammomic the pictures of the wooden barrels and crates and the second and third pint callouts the Reich Post Germany 1941-45 oh, this is a pint for the World War II time and Deutsche Post Germany 50s and the post-war paint scheme next we have the sprue map and on the sixth page we've got the first uh, assembly steps steps first there are the crates for a beer crates for a milk wooden barrels and milk cans and here we have the truck build steps we start for the engine it's rather complex as you see a lot of parts and the frame suspension and the wheels comes from three parts and the next suspension and frame parts here we've got the cabin pretty cool 
PE grill cover and uh, the Mercedes star and the cargo pack and some finishing options like PE chain and mud guards and that's it as you see the instruction contains 37 steps next we've got the pint callout for the milk bottles and beer bottles really really cool looking to be honest with the uh, post-war beer marks and another four pint callouts the beer truck American occupation zone in 1947-49 beer truck West Berlin 50s laundry service German in 1941-1945 so another World War II pints came and the cargo transportation British occupation zone Hamburg 1947-1949 and on the last page we've got the uh, uh, box art now let's see the plastic uh, the biggest sprue in the box uh, as you see it contains the main parts for the uh, track the front fenders, uh, seats, the cargo bay parts, drivers control with the gouges, the steering wheel and the doors. As you see the door comes from two parts each so it will have a nice detail on both sides as you see the steering wheel have really nice detail too on this side and what is uh, nice that there is no uh, injection pin marks on this side the next two sprues spruce AC uh, there are exactly the same this sprue contain the wheels and the suspension parts so you see the suspension springs are really nice detailed the headlight and there are the wheels there are also looking really nice with the Fulda mark here and some numbers here they looks really really fine in my opinion there are even no uh, the you know seam line on the tires so it saves a lot of time you don't need to send the the wheels the next two identical sprues mm. this sprue contain the front wheel the mud guard again without pin marks on this side some other really small details and the step for the cabin with uh, the rifled steel texture 
is really sharp to be honest and again some parts for the cargo bay with nice wooden te wood texture now you can see it this time we have something bigger the spruby that contain uh, uh, most of the interior parts for this vehicle like the engine the two types of grill cover first with first with molded on uh, grill cover and here we have only the frame and for the PE parts the engine blocks some grills for the hood I think look at these engine parts they are really nicely done and well detailed Overall, all, all parts are, have uh, really nice details molded on. Look there, for example. Or there. Almost all details are made really fine. The exhaust pipes. There are a lot of small tiny parts so the special attention during working with them are required but all mini art kits are very detailed so they have a lot of small fragile parts so these kits are good for the experienced modeler in my opinion the next two sprues uh, that are uh, the same they contain the suspension parts and they are well made as, as the other and the sprue D with some uh, parts under the the frame I think this is the you know the cardan between the engine and the uh, rear uh, of the track the last part for the track is the cabin as you see it uh, separately part uh, it uh, have uh, and uh, haven't an uh, injection pin marks inside so it is nice uh, it comes in box like this so it is well protected uh, and in my kit comes in great shape and damaged without any brakes or something like this and again two identical sprues uh, with the wooden barrels and some wooden crates As you see, there are some flash that need to be removed, but it's nothing hard to do. And the bottles. And the barrels. And milk can cans. And this is the uh, wooden crates for the 
milk or beer bottles and uh, there are uh, five, sprue, five sprues like this and five like this in the box uh, overall uh, the this parts comes from separately uh, release set that miniard released some time ago the uh, champagne bottles with crates and beer bottle with crates something like this they are nice molded with they are nicely done with a pretty cool wood texture molded on the box uh, contain also three types of uh, bottles the milk bottles made from clear plastic and the brown and the green beer bottles they are the brown one and the green as you see they are looking pretty cool the box contains also the sprue with clear parts it contains the uh, wind and and the light covers as you see they are well made they are clear and should be nice really cool on the finished model in the box we can find also two small threads of the PE parts they contain some, mi some minor details like the Mercedes star uh, some parts with the here you can see it the chain and the front grill cover and the second smaller thread also contain the minor details uh, I worked with Niard PE parts and they are quite good in my opinion so I hope that uh, in this case will be the same and the large decal sheet as you see it's really big uh, it contains the uh, uh, decals for the eight pint schemes and the marks for the bottles you can see it here and so on signs for the wooden crates for the milk crates it's really big <laughs> and it's rare in the lastly released kit find this size of the decal okay I showed you uh, all parts from this box and it's time to compare in my opinion it's a pretty fine kit it's something different uh, than all the tanks and uh, uh, you know the military vehicles so it is uh, something a little bit different but very interesting uh, what's more, it is cool that uh, the kit comes with the uh, additions like barrels, uh, the bottles and crates so you can uh, you know the finished work with this uh, this additions look will look uh, better with some something uh, in the 
cargo buy in my opinion and what's more it is a kit for uh, experienced modeler because uh, it contain uh, almost uh, 700 parts and some of them are really small and fragile so uh, a little bit uh, experience is uh, need to build this kit the parts as you see looks really cool and uh, they are well molded sharp and crisp without any issues like the pin marks and what's more I think that this kit is good as the rest of the lastly released mini art kits so the quality is really fine and I can recommend this kit so I think that anyone who will uh, purchase this kit uh, don't will be disappointed and what's more thank you for watching and see you in next episodes.